Well, here we are on a very bright day <laughs> at the park whose name I cannot remember. And we're fixing to take a hike. It's been a while since we take a hike and we're missing it. Already we're finding stuff to talk about. <laughs> what you got there? It looks like a big seed. Is it growing? Well, it's not growing anymore. We can take it home and see what it's all about. That table and the truck. Okay. Yes, baby. Yes, we can go potty first. <laughs> Bears. Bears. Black Bear aware. Well, black bears are generally shy animals and not aggressive towards people. That's good to know. Step one, do not run. Step two, speak calmly. Step three, stand tall. Step four, back away. That's what you do if you meet a bear. You want to eat you. So. Bear facts, they have the best sense of smell of any land mammal. I had no idea. Isn't that bizarre? Any land mammal, huh? I know. They are fast, 30 miles an hour. Yeah, we won't be out running one of those. I'm a fast runner. If I see a bear, I'll just run. No, it says stand still. <laughs> it says, look, actually says do not run and back away slowly, right? So don't run, okay? I'll don't, have to don't, trip don't get, you. Don't get Papa and Daddy eaten. <laughs> okay. If you run, they'll chase you. And they're a lot and, faster. And they, fa they run faster than humans, so they'll get you. <laughs> okay. So what do we do when we see a bear, Axel? Stay still and stay calmly and back away from Oh, you were listening. <laughs> hey, you guys know what these are? Oh. What is that, Emma? I didn't see it. A birdhouse. Not a birdhouse. A bat house. A bat house. You want to go see if there's bats in there? <laughs> no bat? The sun's right there. Yeah, it's making my eyes water. I know. I'll show you. There's nothing to see. Okay. Come on, let me see. Let's see. <laughs> I don't see any bats. No, we don't think there's any bats right now. See? Come on, baby. I thought it was only two baby bats. Ready? Look up there. <laughs> any bats? <laughs> <laughs> no. I saw two bats. Two bats. You saw two any. bats, did you? Two little bats. Oh, oh, that was bird poop. No bats. No bats? It's almost impossible to see I up in there. Bats. Yeah. Come here, let me show you one more time. Emma. It's a workout for daddy. We got a little bit of shade. We're trying to see if we can take advantage. <laughs> Nada. Now, where are you going to throw my stick? Oh, the lovely sticks. That's a baseball bat. That's a this is one of the things that we definitely miss most. Every time you land at a park, you have this thrill of going out and seeing nature and just walking on trails. And something new. Something new. You always find something new. <laughs> and having the kids experience all this stuff is really such a thrill. Yeah, it's really cute. Sorry, Dad. But they always are. Was I in your way, dear? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Those are ants. ants. Those are ant hills. I wouldn't mess with them too much. Hey, buddy, how you holding up? To? I'm getting more tired. Are they? A lot more tired. You're not used to hiking anymore because we just started. Dad, can you put me up? Oh no, we're not doing that. You want to go up front and chase the grasshoppers? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of grasshoppers. She's so cute when she runs. I know. You ran them all off the trail. She's right here. See these right here? These are all berries. 
Yum, enjoy it. Yeah. Do they have spines? Yeah, they have thorns and wild blackberries. I know. Ah, spring is here. Yeah. Or in, in Florida's case, summer's here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it is amazing how quickly you get out of the rhythm of being able to hike. And while we were hiking every day pretty much, or at least every week, couple times a week, we could go for miles and miles. We haven't even gotten not even know. Yeah, yeah I know. And everybody's like, it's hot. How far is this? <laughs> Are we going around in circles? Are you getting dizzy? Yeah. Oh, you're getting dizzy? It sure is hot, Papa. Is it? It sure is I think hot. it's a great spring day. He said, look at its lander right there. It's a big one. Yeah. Oh, my. That's a big grasshopper, isn't it? Where is it? It's right there. See it? Oh! <laughs> Maybe you can slow that down. I know. This is Grasshopper Haven. Grasshopper Trail. There you go. Grasshopper, grasshopper Hill. Sunny grasshoppers. That's a biting fly. <laughs> what? what? They don't all want to shake hands. There's one. See it? It's going to run from you though. Can you see it right there? Whoa! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it Did you ran. See no, it flew off. There's a lot of uh, blueberry, blackberry bushes. Yeah, I've never seen so many blackberries. I know. I think somebody planted them right along the trail too. And look at these trees, just nicely in a row. <laughs> Those were definitely planted. Papa, that's a beetle. Yeah, it's a dead beetle. Oh, poor beetle. See, the ants already got to it. Yeah. Are they eating? Things? It's a green June yeah. bug. Ants eat dead bugs. They sure do. Ew. Yeah, in another couple of weeks. It's going to be blackberry heaven. Whoa, that's a big one. <laughs> this thing has grasshoppers everywhere. We'll have to come through here with our pails and grab I some, know. Get some blackberries. We're, we're in like a mile and the whole the whole distance, there's the side of the trail is just lined with blackberry bushes. Yeah, just, just five, ten feet out. It's just all blackberry. Yeah. Look how many grasshoppers, guys. Grasshoppers! Whoa! Can we have a yogurt drink? Let's have one. I All right. That he said, let's have one. Let's see what daddy's got in here. Here, shake it. Let me get another one out. Dinner. Who are you going to roast? Gonna roast Both of you. Both of you? us? And you. And what are you going to do with that? Eat you all up. Eat me up? <laughs> oh, you're just a snack. Snacks can't talk. Yeah. <laughs> you're an hors d'oeuvre. We're talking about being lost in the forest and starving. <laughs> and who gets eaten first? Look at this thing. A lot of controlled burns. I think they kind of overdid it with the fire here because these trees don't look very good. Yeah, they, they killed the trees. But maybe that was, they meant to do that or something. I don't know. No, that's just because of the fire. That is because of the fire. That is true. From what? Uh, people sometimes set fires. Firemen set fires in order to control the forest. That way, if there is a natural fire, it doesn't get out of control and burn everything down. But Papa and Daddy think this one got out of hand a little bit. Well, all these yellow burnt trees, they're not falling down. They're not falling down yet, but you see how the bark is gone? When the bark is gone from a tree, the tree cannot live anymore. Because that's how the tree gets water. What poor trees! What poor trees indeed. El Tenedor del Diablo from Romancing the Stone. That's kind of cool looking. Why are they trying to do this? Why are they uh, burning the trees with fire? It's to control the forest so that the forest doesn't get so much dead wood because when a natural fire hap happens, if there's a lot of dead wood around, then it's an inferno and it kills everything. This way, if you kill just a little bit, then the big trees stay alive. From the fire? Yeah. It's not killing the grass. Well, the grass comes back real fast. But do you burn it? If you burn it, it doesn't matter. It comes back pretty fast because grass seed blows in the wind. So it reseeds really quickly. And that is a quick lesson in fire control. <laughs> Axel will be working for California soon. He's getting started.
Run to the Ooh, shade. That's the biggest one. Oh yeah. Oh. I scared him. I hey. saw that. Woo, he fell down. He's right over there. <laughs> but I'm not going in there. Grasshoppers hoppers everywhere. Oh, a little oasis of shade. Let's see where we are. Oh my. Let's see. <laughs> where are we? Oh, you can't find Should us, huh? No, I can't. I mean, I know where we are. I'm trying to figure out which way to walk back. Oh, okay. See, look, guys. If we keep on walking that way and then take a left, we go right back to the trailhead or down that way. You see this? That's us right there. So we're not lost. See, guys? No. Not this time. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> you guys are enthralled, I can tell. The secret thing about this park, which is this road, basically there's like two loops, two big loops of this road that go all around this, this preserve. What a perfect place to come and bike and use our scooters. What do you think, guys? We should have brought them. I know. My eyes are about to close. Your eyes are about to close? Why? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> the sun's gone. The sun goes behind clouds now and then, yep. Is the sun back? Yeah, it's back. Those are animal paths. Yeah, see this path right here? That little path that goes into the forest? That's an animal path right there. Maybe bears, maybe something else. We are having another snack break. <laughs> Every half mile, we need fuel here. The kids do. Yeah, I know. I want to get yogurt stick. Oh, we don't have, we don't have any of those, but... What do you have here? I have roasted pig. I have pulled pork. <laughs> T-bone on the bone. Hot dog on a stick. Yeah, Coke so in a can. can. And a yogurt drink. And a yogurt drink. What do you want? Yogurt drink. Oh, good choice, buddy. Here you go. Coke in a can. There's a dream come true. That You're in good. for some disappointment. We're trying to give those up. <laughs> That is drinking too much sugar. Uh, well, you know. Those things will get you. Some people can only be sweet one way. <laughs> oh. oh. These are cool trees. Look at that. <laughs> Shut up. Did somebody call for a bear? I think him, me. Yeah? We'll feed you first. You guys are like puppies up for a walk. Where's the shade? Bark, bark. It's like a 10 degree difference, isn't it, guys? I know. Whoa. I'm going to take a seat. Are you guys taking a break? I'm taking a nap. I'm going to take a seat. Yeah. You have not hiked that much. You guys are exaggerating. What is that? What yeah, is did. that what you said? You did hike that much. Can you say exaggerating? Exaggerating. You're exaggerating. Exaggerating. Yeah. I'm going to climb that tree. People haven't been very kind to that tree. See all the knife marks on it? Daddy, that poor tree got hurt. Yeah, look at all the marks and stuff. Oh, look, they're also cutting it right here. I know. Why we don't do they, that to trees, huh? Why do they cut it? Because they don't know any better. You can tell which way the wind generally blows here. You see? That's where we parked, right there. Yeah. You have to go to yellow and then green. And then it doesn't have a you are here mark. No. There's no. a red path. A but blue I think we're on number four, obviously. <laughs> we're in a red path. We're number on one number is the red four. path. So we're at number four, number, which number, is here. Okay. So we were going to go to number four. three. Three. And then take a, you know, there's a trail that goes from three to one. And soon we'll be right where we yeah. started. What happened? I'll try and sneak up to get that car. It says no horses, no bicycles, and no cars. That's what it says. Very good. It says foot traffic only. That's what the bottom says. That is what the sign because says. Because it has three words on the bottom. Three pictures. Three pictures. Yeah. Are you learning a lot about signs and trails? Mm -hmm. You can read that sign no problem. I can't, but I know what the sign has. Yeah. For, for a picture. Oh, so you can't read the sign, but you know what the sign is trying to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of the pictures. When we'll be at the park. <laughs> at time. I want some water too. 
You want some water? Okay. I'm drinking. Ooh, watch that. Here you go. I'm drinking. You're going to drink it all? You're good. You going somewhere? <laughs> She's like... Hey, I'm out of here. Yeah, this heat. No bear to record today. Thank goodness. Don't forget, thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> I don't want to stand still for a bear. Me either. I just want to run. You think you're faster than Papa? Yeah? That's why you cannot run a bear? I can run a bear. You cannot outrun a bear. I, I guarantee can. it. I can run a bear. Uh, you cannot. I you... can run a bear. No, you can't. Yes, I can not No, you can't. <laughs> Where are you going, man? Where are you going, man? You're going the wrong way, man. <laughs> Drop your hat, lady. You think you were going fast, do you? Yeah. You want to go to the playground? Mm -hmm. After all that hiking? I thought you were exhausted. Well, with this water, I'm not exhausted. Oh, so water's your fuel. Mm -hmm. Why don't we take another hike? No. I need 10 drinks because my buddy needs 10 drinks. That way I could have enough time. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going, boy? Come back here. <laughs> That is our excursion. <laughs> I think it was fun and hot. I think it was exhausting. We need to be more in practice. Yeah. We gotta get back out there, man. Yeah. Hurry up and fix the RV. Real soon. <laughs> Real soon. How soon? <laughs> Real soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love movie quotes. What can we say? <laughs> what movie was that from? <laughs> so here we are. Saying goodbye from the park I can't name. It's a mini adventure. You know, our adventures are usually a little bit more, a little more spontaneous. Yeah, if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll be seeing you next time. What'd you get, buddy? No, I found a butterfly. Why don't you let it go? I wanna see it. I know, baby, you're killing it. We're trying to tell you what you're doing to it. See how the wings are all broken, baby? Can't fly anymore, I'll ever. Just let it. No, it won't be able to fly now because you broke its wings. How can butterflies die without flying? Because they can't go to the flower and drink nectar. You see, that's all it can do now, and now it's just going to crawl away somewhere and die. Okay, it's, didn't you didn't mean to. Butterflies aren't like grasshoppers. No. If you mess with their wings, they break. They can't fly anymore, and if a butterfly can't fly, it'll die. <laughs>